Hey guys, Caitlin with Gravel here, and today we are actually in a tiny little village town in Tuscany, Italy. Today we're gonna be filming a POV video with the Insta360 GO 3S and the Ricoh GR3 as we walk around and get some photos of this amazing little town, so let's do it. To start this video off, I always love to travel with a fanny pack. This one is made by Motocot. Um, you can find them online. And I just love to have fanny packs because they're so easy to toss your extra accessories into. So this is the obviously square part. Throwing that in there, <laughs> zipping it up, grabbing my GR3, and let's go. I'm always looking for symmetry. And honestly, in these really tiny towns, it's pretty easy. Because there's just so many lines. Which one? Oig? Oh, yeah, that is really cool. Oh, I like this sign a lot. So cute. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, pretty much anywhere you look around here is a photo worth taking. So I'm sure I'm even in the comments, like, she wasn't even thinking about any of those. And it's like, no, I was just exploring. One thing I will say is that I made a video in November of 2023 comparing the Ricoh GR3 to the Fuji X100 V5 and tons of people gave me literally the number one comment in this comment section was that I should have been using the tap focus on the Ricoh GR3 because I said that I prefer the Fuji because it had a mechanical autofocus like changing, you know, for me to change where it's at. I just like still prefer that, but I like the Ricoh gr 3 size. So since making that video, I've been using the Ricoh GR3 on basically all my travels and the Fuji X100V is getting used less and less, which shocked me a ton, but honestly, for the weight that I'm carrying around, it's better. So let's get back to shooting. Oops. Let's see. Sometimes I wonder how good the Ricoh GR3's dynamic range is. It seems to be better on the computer and I'm always shooting RAW and JPEG. Um, but it seems to be better once you're like in post. Look at all these cute plants. This is fun. Oh, I like that curtain. So many mosquitoes out here. You guys are probably watching me get eaten alive, live on camera. Um, like I said, literally everywhere you look is so beautiful. And today's a really sunny, high contrast day which makes photo taking extremely fun. I mean, literally look, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Also, absolutely beautiful. So, you know, pretty fun. So nice. Yeah, the wall. Oh, excuse me. Questionable. They're preparing to blow. <clears throat> right as I stop recording. Okay, I love these curtains so much. And See, here's the thing, you guys, I'm gonna be real. It's, it was hard to see this photo that I just took because I was so low with it. On the Fuji, I could just go and then I can totally see my composition so well and I can shoot from the hip. That was also a comment you guys love to make. Again, they're just different cameras. Here we have some pretty amazing views. Also, these things are just like local trees that have been made into like sculpture things like Look at these faces are pretty crazy. The views here do not play. Like they just do not, you know, every part of the view is amazing. I mean, like 
here. I'll take you guys closer. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. As you can see, we've got all of Tuscany out here looking immaculate. And I'll go ahead and take a landscape photo so you guys can see how landscapes look on this camera. But yeah, those houses out there are like just the diversity rather than just greens, but it's obviously beautiful. Okay, loving the contrast of these buildings and then the clouds right there. I honestly have just learned like, I love high contrast. And, okay, cute little street. Not much to shoot so far. Although I do like that this lady's up here in her car. So that's always fun. This door is really beautiful. Oh, this is fun. Here we go. See, this is the best part of Europe. It's like you're walking and you're like, will there be a photo? There's always a photo. There we go. Really old. Oh, wow. More of those kind of scary sculptures. So like here again is like an example of a, in architecture, it'd be extremely straight and then my camera would need to be way higher. But I like showing kind of like the grandness of things. I don't know, roast me in the comments if I just ruined everything. Oh, so cute. Okay. The green. Okay, this is fun. Little tower. Yeah, this is cool because it feels like it's basically just coming out of the sky. Big fan. Big fan of that. Agna. I could have some gelato. I like this sign. I'm always looking for really cool signage when I travel. And I always make sure to take photos of it for reference later. If I had a zoom lens, I love that. This window that's like right up there. Super nice. They choose. This is cool. Window that I liked before. I want to see with the dynamic range, I basically underexpose the shadows to try to get the highlights. It looks like we have some bathrooms over here. Ooh, the temperature. Some more sculptures. There's like an installation in town right now of this guy, of this guy, Massimo Scarfagna. Oh. I like this water closet sign. <laughs> so cute. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is sick. Do you see this? Like chapel. Dang. Oh, you did? I'm gonna test it. Oh, an amazing pool that I wish I was swimming in. But seriously, everywhere you look, like way out there, you can see there's on those hills a ton of houses and villages. Everywhere you look is amazing. I really like these lights. Are these lights fun? See, this is another scenario where if I had the Fuji X100V, I could like tilt the screen out. Strange of an image. Oh, we got a little cat. Oh, looks me. Not trying to get attacked today. This is super nice. Dude, those dogs are really barking out here. 
I've always loved this setup. So cool. Again, everywhere you look is a photograph, especially if you're used to living in the US where everything is ugly. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear the cicadas in these trees, but there is a ton. <laughs> so many bugs out here in the summer heat in Italy. But I hope you enjoyed this little POV video of me walking around with the Ricoh GR3. This camera, I absolutely love it. This camera as well, super fun, but I will say the battery life when you have it out of the case is extremely low. So filming a POV is actually kind of hard because you have a very limited amount of time. Let me know what you think about that down in the comments. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. We are a travel community out here making travel goods that literally make your travel life so much easier, like our travel blankets, our toiletry bags, and my personal favorite, which is the TSA 311 bag that I literally use for all of my tech gear, all of my cosmetics, anything that I don't wanna get wet or I just want to have organized in different little pouches, I bring them everywhere. So go check out our products if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Filming POVs is really fun, but you do have to be willing to look like a complete goof out in public. And so when you're wearing the hat clip, it's like you really got to channel your inner confidence. But if you were going to wear it on the chest clip, I think things would be a lot less, you know, everyone staring at you, but fun nonetheless.